Well guys, as you can see, I'm in Pekunk space in the bottom left hand corner of the map. I want to go to Gamma Kruger to find out what's going on there. Um, see what's happening with the Ilrath. Um, get a bit more information. Uh, but the main thing is, if we look at the hyperspace map now, is that Spathy Sphere of Influence is gone. It's completely gone. Uh, there's absolutely nothing. Uh, the ores are still there though, so I have a funny feeling that it has something to do with either the ores or the Urquan. Um, so they've some something's happened to them. Either they've been completely decimated, um, or they've just kind of fleed. Um, so either of those things are possible. Also, want to go to the Zopfuck Peak, go and have a look what they're doing. Um, did bump into an Urquan. Uh, through the Dinyari, which was a little bit scary, but we can see that the Zopfot Pick are in the sphere of influence of the Urquan, which might be a little bit dangerous, but never mind. But who is this? Oh dear, it's it's an Ilrath. Can I believe my sensory cluster? I sense humans. I dance with joy for our good fortune. The human dies with such agony that it cannot help but please Dogar and Kazan. Well, um, obviously they're not very nice guys, we already learned that, but um, you know, let's not get into fights, let's just let's just calm yes. down, relax. Yes. Dogar and Kazan could not say it better. We will engage in the best stress relieving activity. Prepare your tepid flesh bag for death. Okay, uh, obviously they're not going to be uh, very nice to us at all. Um, so I think just to be safe, I'm going to just take the uh, the flagship into battle because um, battling a uh, cloaked Ilrath can be quite annoying. The way you kind of do it is you have to kind of shoot in the dark, just hope you hit it. Um, they're not really that quick, um, but of course you also want to get in close so you have a better chance of hitting it. You can see though that the camera is kind of moving about. So you can kind of use that to your advantage since the camera will always focus on the middle middle of the battle. So right now my flag is at the bottom. Now the yeah, so the bottom. So the Ilrath is somewhere near the top and to the left. Um, so you can see the camera kind of moving. And I just hit it there. You can see that I, you can still hit it while it's cloaked, of course. Otherwise it'd be impossible. Um, as long as you stay away from the um, Ilrath ship, don't get too close. Don't get hit by its flamethrower, which I'm about to do because I just hit an asteroid. You see, it does a lot of damage. It's fine. I got a little hit on it. Um, it's fine, so I'm just kind of just staying back as far as I can, but also want to stay in range because my weapons haven't got the longest range. But it's not too bad. Um, Captain Lurgo is having a bit of trouble with his spider web stupid controls. I just hit it again. Uh, probably three more hits and it goes down. The problem is that the, um, the spread of the cannons are a little bit annoying, so I might kind of just be missing it by like a few pixels, but. You know, just gotta keep trying. I wanna get in close, just have a better chance of hitting it. There we go, that's a lot better. But still, oh, I got one hit on it at least. Getting very close, very dangerous um, position. I still can't hit it though. Need to be careful. So, we've got one more hit to take it down. Don't wanna hit that planet though. That could be bad. It's just managed to go out of its gravity. So, can I hit it one more time? Yes, there we go. And the first Ilrath is down, just one more to go. So, then, really not that difficult. Pretty much free RUs. Uh, but it can be a little bit of a pain to battle it. You just need to be patient, really. Just hope you get a, a few lucky hits on it. Uh, they have a lot of crew, that's the one problem with the Elrath. And they, if you do get too close, their weapon is very powerful. But there we go, that's our first hit, second hit, getting a few good hits on it early on in the battle. Let's just keep going. Third hit. Getting a little bit close though, gotta turn around at some point. Yeah, there we go. Just need a few more hits, it's a good start though. The Nova Mace is, uh, it's doing well. We can hit for like 15 damage, but we have 150 crew. That's the one thing about the flagship, has massive amounts of uh, crew and hit points. Oop, it's going for an attack, but it can't quite reach. We just need one more hit. I'm just kind of matching my speed with his. I've got to be careful with these asteroids, because if I crash into them, then I lose all speed. But there we go. Two Ilrath down, and the uh, awesome flagship victory song plays. So an extra 250 RUs. Not as good as the probes, they give you a lot of RUs. But it's still good enough for me. So let's keep going. Just gonna save the game. Uh, yeah, no, I'll just leave it for now. It's fine. Um, let's go to the Gamma Kruger system then, um, in Pekunk space, kind of on the border of Pekunk and Ilrath space. So there are obviously some sort of wars going on. Uh, but there goes another ship. Looks quite slow, so I'm gonna guess it's Ilrath, because uh, the Pekunk ships are pretty quick actually. 
and they can catch up with you. They're probably one of the quickest um, ships in the game, if not the quickest. Um, it's fine, so let's go into Gamma Kruger. So there's a lot of ships flying around. I'm guessing the Gamma Kruger is the closest one in, in that green ring. The green ring normally signifies you know, life or close to life. I'm going to just bump into this um, Pukunk here, see what he says. I sense that you are cautious. You feel that you are not yet ready to enter into the fullness of our compassion. I say to you, let go! Travel to our planet of love at the star you call Gamma Kruger and share the brightness of your soul with us. Unburn yourself of fears. Become as a child once again. Release yourself to tears of joy. Go! Go now, young one! Go quickly! Okay, we'll go to Gamma Kruger then. Go away. Yes, by all means, if duty is calling. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Perhaps when the stars are aligned in an appropriate configuration. Yes, my inner voice is telling me that is correct. When the stars align, Captain. Right, so, to Gamma Crew we go. As I said, the first planet there, there's a lot of Pekunk flying around. Don't want to bang into it again. Um, just got to kind of dodge them all. They're very quick, so they can be quite a nuisance. And if you're very unlucky, and one's exiting the planet just like that, you've got to be careful. It's got a moon as well, but we need to go to the home world. Let's go. What? A spirit voice rings within my soul. It tells me that I must give you something. Something to aid you on your noble quest. What, spirit? What must we give this young human? Mineral resources? No. Important secret? No. Starship? No. Then what is it, spirit? Spit it out. What? That there? Are you sure? Okay, here you go, Captain. Take this clear spindle. It is an ancient and powerful device built by the precursors hundreds of thousands of years ago. What does it do, you ask? I haven't the slightest idea. A special portent and serendipitous omens have foretold your arrival. Welcome, alien guests, to the home of the gentle and playful Pekunk, children of the cosmic light, high goblins of joy, seekers of spiritual truth, and other neat stuff like that. Right, so we got the clear spindle. Um, the Pekunk has no idea what it does, so we're going to have to definitely take it back to the star base, get the scientists on it and try and find out what it does. Why should we mind? We bear the spidery creatures no ill will. Without darkness, there is no light. Without death, there is no birth. And thanks to the Illrath, there's lots of birth. Right, so we can ask some, some questions about this war with the Illrath. Um, let's just ask um, when they started attacking them. Well, that's easy. It was exactly 27,000 rotations of the seventh planet in the house of Planky Pum. Before the first alignment of the auspicious constellation of Big Bit with the heavenly body of Shamlathun, which was really only a partial alignment. I guess you would say eight years ago. Eight years, that's a pretty long time. Um, I guess we asked them how they're doing then in the war. We have calculated that at our present rate of attrition, we will exist only on the spiritual plane in a matter of a year or so. Of course, the physical realm does hold a certain coarse attraction, a material quaintness, if you will. We will be somewhat disappointed to have to leave it. Right, so they're not going to last for too much longer. So, um, let's just try and find a way to stop the Illrath. An interesting question. The answer would be yes. If some benign and loving, yet incredibly destructive and powerful force were to simultaneously rip off all of their legs and drop their putrid egg sacs into steaming pools of molten metal, that would have the desired result of ending the conflict. Ah, oh, but I jest. Of course, I bear the era no ill will. How could I, when I'm filled only with love? Hopefully there's another way we can stop them, uh, but for now, let's just find out why they're so hostile. We have 
delved most deeply into the dark and gritty heart of the Ildas. And what do you suppose we found there? Well, we found a torpid, vile, malign, odious, spiteful spirit! Right, no surprises there. What did surprise us, though, was what we saw when we regressed into the past lives. It turns out that in their last lives, the Ildas were all shining beings of pure light and blissful love. They had reached the pinnacle of spiritual evolution and could go no further. They were perfection. And then, somehow, they got just a tiny bit better and wham! They were all of a sudden totally evil. Wouldn't you know it? Get too perfect and you wrap right around to evil. That's why we've become strive to be perfect, but always do little bad and annoying things to keep from ending up like the Ildas. Right, so that's strange. The Ilrath used to be good, but um, I guess we're going to move on to a different subject. When we could speak of flowers, rainbows, fairies, and crystal magic. Did you know, for example, that there is an invisible fairy spirit at this moment sitting on your head and making humorous faces at me? Ah, oh, the mysteries of the universe! Try to understand them, but can you? No, nope, they're mysteries. Well, we haven't even introduced ourselves yet, so we might as well do that. Yes, yes, we know all that. We are not known throughout the galactic sector as powerful psychics for nothing. Of course, we already know the answer to this next question, too. But we enjoy conversation. Why have you come here? Um, okay, quite a few options here. Which one should we ask? Uh, there's also another one. We saw. Oh, there's another one there at the bottom. Let's go down to that one. It says, "We thought we'd just take this." Oh, there we go. Baby, out for a little cruise. Yeah, let's. Well, no, let's just go with the second one. The fight, always the fight. We the kunk are yin, and you are yang. I suppose the problem is that the Earth one are a little more yang than you are. Well, be that as it may, we are sympathetic to your concerns. We were not always the mystical, aloof, and yet killing, enlightened beings that we are now. If need be, we can still kick some serious butt. Let us unite and form an alliance. We will provide you with all of the crew, ships, and resources you desire. We will give you... Wait! I sense that you are offended by our craft material offer. Yes, I am ashamed. Any warmongering species could offer this. We are the Kunk, children of the stellar breeze. We shall give you what all others could not. The greatest of gifts. We shall give you our love. Ah, you are speechless. Do not talk now. I can feel the energy connecting us. Let us talk while the silence remains. Farewell. But wait, before we go, as a small token of our love, not as a material gift, mind you, we give you four of our mega ships, fully crewed. Good luck. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, so we got four Pekunk ships. I don't know what their name is. They're just Pekunk ships for now. Um, not really sure how good they are. Um, I've only played with them once before in Super Melee. I remember them being extremely quick, and um, I don't think they were very. Their weapons were, weren't like brilliant, so I'm just gonna test them um, between episodes, see if they're worth having at this stage of the game, and um, then we can move on from there. But now, uh, I think we're gonna stop off at Seoul and then go and find out what happened to the Spathy. <laughs> 